What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. I will be showcasing to you guys an insane M4 class setup. Recently in the latest patch for Modern Warfare, the M4 was nerfed, but this setup still shreds through people. Later on in the video, I will show the setup so that you can use it for yourself. Now, if you want to get a sneak peek of future videos or see what I'm up to behind the camera, be sure and go to follow my Instagram at YTDexterity. And if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. It helps me out immensely. Now, I saw that 93% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you do enjoy this content, be sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free and I would really appreciate it. Or else you're going to find a spider in your bed tonight. Just kidding, but you should still sub anyway. Like, I mean, there's nothing really stopping you. Also, from now on, I'm going to be choosing a random comment to shout out in each video. So go and comment something. Uh, if you have anything to say, just say whatever, and I will uh, put it into future videos. This is the random comment right here. Uh, shout out to you. Thank you for commenting. But without further ado, please enjoy the video. Hey. Yes, she did. It's me and our random teammate. How did I win that? Let's go, bro. Holy shit. Get shit on, bro. What the? Bro, their whole team just like rushed out. Ah, damn. Bro, I'm sorry. Where did their whole team go? Like, what the? I just deleted them, bro. If I am I gonna pick up this ace? Please don't tell me he has ghost. He doesn't have ghost. Let's go. That, I think that was an, yeah, that was an ace. Good round, guys. That was an ace. I'm proud of myself. I'm just trying to get some aggressive gameplay for this, like, best SD class setup. Yeah, I do it, I do it in midway. Oh, he was up there. I didn't see him. Oh, you trying out my class setup? I see you. Use your ammo box. Ammo box. Ammo box. Because you don't you don't have any. Oh. Doesn't it feel nice though? Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Holy shit. Oh, yep. Enemy spotted. Oh, yeah. Nathan taking the top top of the building. Holding down the whole map, waiting for them to try to plant, but they're probably going to be going to B bomb. I don't see them playing it at A when Nathan is just sitting here locking down. It turns into a 1v4 situation. Not sure if Nathan can end up doing this with the M4 with the iron sights, which is kind of bad when it comes to camping on top of rooftop with everything being long range. Do with the riot shields trying to sneak up on him. Tried for the throwing knife play, but just got absolutely melted by Nathan's M4. They ended up planning underneath him. I stand corrected. Now Nathan has to work his way back down. He has two ways. He could go the ladder or he could go down the stairs. But people know that he's up there and they're making their way up on top. Nathan run ammo might want to use his ammo box. But he has no time. He decides to go down the ladder. Trying to see if he can pick up some cheesy kills through the window. And he gets raped. <laughs> I love commentating. I'm so good at it. 
All right, we got Nathan coming on top of the building, mowing him down. 1v3 situation again with the M4. Same situation as we saw last round as he's waiting for them to plant. He spots someone out down there and gets him down with the M4, absolutely shredding it long range. God class setup. He has a shotgun as a secondary, the 725, which is an overpowered shotgun, which might be useful if they try to push up the building as Nathan's waiting for them to plant. He decides to just watch the stairs, waiting for them to plant. He gets, he gets one kill as... Uh, Warboy decides to go up the stairs, but gets absolutely melted by his shotgun. One hit kill. Nathan now slowly building up his perks. Throwing down the ammo box to get max ammo as he was running low. Still waiting for another plant. 1v1 situation. Nathan just wa waiting for his prey to come up the stairs. But they went up the ladder and they come behind him. Unfortunate. All right, 3v6 situation. We got Nathan going up the stairs back to his original spot. Trying to overlook because it's such a powerful spot. He he missed one that was out in the center area. Hellstorm's raining down. Oh, he runs, he runs by one and he just gets absolutely shot in the back. He did not know where he was. We have Boost with the MP5 trying to go around the house. Someone falls right in front of a 1v3 situation. Boost trying to get the C4 kill, but he couldn't. MP5 and gets blown up by an RPG. Now we turn into a 5-1 to one game. Not looking so good for the Allegiance team. Nathan lurking around the big building 3v6 situation with his M4 and his 7-2-5. Last time he choked the two clutches, but he gets throwing knights by the dude with the riot shield. Miss Num Num gets blown up by an RPG and we go back to boost and he gets destroyed with an absolute 6-1 to one domination. And the Allegiance takes defeat. Coalition beyond the upper hand. <laughs> so now we will be running through the class setup that I used in today's video. I'm using the XRK M4 variant. It's a level 65, so you're going to need a high level to get this build. Uh, I'm using the FSS 12.4 inch barrel or um, Predator barrel. I'm running the TAC laser, which gives you ADS speed, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. The only downside is that the laser is available to enemies. This is completely optional, but I think it does help with the accuracy and the mobility of the gun, which is what makes it a really mobile class setup. I got the Ranger foregrip for recoil control and aim stability. I got the 50 round mag so that you don't run out too fast because I found the 30 rounds was really just not a lot at all. Then the 32 rounds just wasn't doing it for me, especially because the 32 round uh, decreases your damage. So you got this just to give more, it does slow down your ADS speed, but we have a kind of good balance with the ADS stuff. And then we have the stippled grip tape, which is the ADS speed, and then the sprint to fire speed. Now, also, I just, I'm running a normal pistol, the Urban Defiler variant for the, uh, the M19. And then I'm running double time, hardline, and tune up double time so that you're, you just run and your movement is just in faster in general. Uh, cause this is a run and gun M4 class. Uh, hardline so that each kill streak costs one less kill and then tune up so you get all your field grades uh um 33 faster i got the frag grenade and the stim so they can heal on the go and then obviously i always run dead silence which is the main reason why i run tuna so this is the class setup that we were running feel free to use it enjoy the rest of the video that's hot Over by the rocks by V, he's laying down. Oh god, he scared the shit out of me. Holy. It's one over back in the spawn. Uh-uh. 
<laughs> you guys are ass. You're ass. They all have ghosts, bro. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, damn, bro. You guys almost got shit on. Oh, nice round. Wow. Oh, that would have been so nice.